grade 7 students, I am Teacher Vanessa of Sinonok National High School, Division of Misamis Occidental. Welcome to a new video lesson. The basic operations on sets are Number 1, Union Number 2, Intersection Number 3, Complement Number 4, Difference The first two basic operations on sets Union and intersection were already discussed in the previous video lesson. For this video lesson, we will learn about complement and difference of sets. Again, what are the basic operations on sets? Number one, union. Number two, intersection. Number three, complement. Number four, difference. Very good. After this video lesson, we are expected to Number one, define complement and difference of sets. Number two, solve problems involving complement and difference of sets with the use of the Venn diagram. Are you excited to learn about complement and difference of sets? Well then, let us start. Let us consider a universal set U with a subset A. A complement of a set A is a set of all elements in the universal set U that are not in set A. The symbol for the complement of a set A can be A prime or A superscript C. Read as A complement or complement of set A. Let's take a look to this Venn diagram. This rectangle represents our universal set U. This represents set A, which is a subset of the universal set U. A complement of a set A is a set of all elements in the universal set U that are not in set A. Thus, the shaded region of the Venn diagram represents the complement of A. Let's have this example. Let sets A, B, and C be subsets of the universal set U. The universal set U contains the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Set A contains 1, 2, and 5. Set B contains 3, 4, and 5. And set C is described as the set containing x such that x is an even number. Given the following data, Let's find out the elements of A complement. A complement must contain elements of the universal set U that are not elements of set A. What are the elements of the complement of A? The elements are 3 and 4. Number 2. What are the elements of the complement of B? The complement of B must contain elements of U that are not elements of B. So, what are those elements of U that are not elements of B? Yes, it's 1 and 2. How about the elements of the complement of C? Set C is described as 
the set containing x such that x is an even number. The even numbers in the universal set are 2 and 4. Therefore, C contains the elements 2 and 4. What are the elements of the complement of C? The elements are 1, 3, and 5. Perfect! You've got all the answers correct. Wow! You did it amazingly! Now you know what and how to find complement of a set. What was the set operation that we have just discussed? Complement of a set, correct! And what set operation we will be discussing next? Difference of sets, very good! Let us consider a universal set U with subsets A and B. A difference of sets A and B is a set containing elements of set A but not in set B. Or, all elements of set A except elements of set B. The symbol for the difference of sets A and B is A slash B read as A minus B. Let's take a look at this Venn diagram. This rectangle represents the universal set U. This circle represents set A. This circle represents set B. A difference of sets A and B is a set containing elements of set A but not in set B or all elements of A except elements of set B. Thus, the blue part of the Venn diagram represents the difference of A and B. Reminder, A minus B is not the same with B minus A. A minus B contains all elements of set A except elements of set B. While B minus A contains all elements of set B except elements of set A. In the Venn diagram, the blue part represents A minus B. In the second Venn diagram, the blue part represents B minus A. Clearly, A minus B is not the same with B minus A. Let's have this example. Let sets A, B, and C be subsets of the universal set U. The universal set U contains the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Set A contains 1, 2, and 5. Set B contains 3, 4, and 5. And set C is described as the set containing x such that x is an even number. The even numbers in the universal set are 2 and 4. Therefore, the elements of set C are 2 and 4. Let's find out the elements of the following sets. Number 1, A minus B. The elements of A minus B should be elements of A, which contains 
one, two, and five. That are not elements of B. That contains three, four, and five. So, what elements of A are not elements of B? The answer is the set containing 1 and 2. Another set. Let's find B minus A. B minus A must contain elements of B, which are 3, 4, and 5. That are not elements of A, which are 1, 2, and 5. So what elements in set B are not elements in set B? A. The answer is 3 and 4. Therefore, the elements of set B minus A are 3 and 4. Let's have number 3. Find B minus C. B minus C must contain elements of B. But not elements of C. So, what elements of B are not elements of C? The answer is 3 and 5. Therefore, Set B minus C contains elements 3 and 5. Perfect! Now you know what and how to find difference of sets. So, that is it! Complement and difference of sets. I believe you have a good catch on the points being discussed. This time, let us have more examples. Let sets A, B, and C be subsets of universal set U. The universal set U contains the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Set A contains the elements 2 and 5. Set B contains 5, 7, and 9. Set C is described as X such that X is an odd number less than 9. The odd numbers in the universal set are 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. And the odd numbers which are less than 9 are 1, 3, 5, and 7. Thus, the elements of C are 1, 3, 5, and 7. Try to find the set A complement minus C. You have 30 seconds to solve. Time is up. Let us check your answer. The elements of A complement are elements in the universal set U that are not elements of A. Thus, A complement contains 1, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Minus set C containing 1, 3, 5, and 7. A complement minus C is the set containing elements of A complement which are not elements of C. 
A complement minus C is the set containing the elements 4, 6, 8, and 9. Impressive! You got it right! Now let's try another one. Find B complement minus C complement. You have 30 seconds to answer. Time is up. Let us check your answer. B complement contains the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 8, while C complement contains the elements 2, 4, 6, 8, and 9. B complement minus C complement is the set containing elements of B complement that are not elements of C complement. These elements are 1 and 3. Therefore, the required set is the set containing 1 and 3. Great! You are correct. You did learn well in our discussion. So there you have our lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed watching the video and learned as well. Have a nice day. Goodbye!